Hey, what's up everybody? Nardis back at it this week showing you how to make this armory rack bench for your six inch marble legends. <laughs> So let's just get right into it. Uh, I like to start off with the rack itself. You can pick these sheets up like this kind of perforated mesh plastic at your local art store. Um, they're pretty inexpensive. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and cut this down to the size that you're gonna want your armory rack to be. So I've already gone ahead and cut one down and after I cut it down, I went ahead and sanded it to rough it up and make it a little more porous and added some silver spray paint to give it the metal look. So we got that. <clears throat> then there are the wooden, square wooden dowels that you get at your local home improvement. Um, all the materials are in the, the section below, so you can check that out. So we'll grab the wooden dowel, we'll cut it to our desired length and then we'll um, use our hot glue gun to apply it then um, our good old Home Depot paint sticks or home improvement store paint stir sticks uh, I normally I cut these down to oops I cut these down um, to remove the little grooves of the hand and pretty much cut them in half. I remove the, the grooves so it's straight and then cut it in half and sand it down so it's nice and smooth. And this will be the frame for the front of um, the armory. So first things first. Okay, got my hat glue gun. Go ahead and apply this. Now we've got to measure off these side ones. I like to come in and measure them like this. And I mark them off a little bit longer just so I could sand it down and make it fit nice and tight in there. So let's go ahead and cut these right now. All right, so I went ahead and cut those and did a quick dry fitting just to make sure they fit well. So we got that, now it's time to glue these guys on. So there we go, we've got the front part done, but you'll see it's a little flimsy, so we gotta reinforce it in the back. So let's go ahead and do that. And for using that, I will grab these popsicle sticks, or craft sticks, not popsicle, craft sticks. So you pick these up at your craft store. You could actually, I believe I picked these up at the Dollar Tree or 99 cent store. They'll have a section with all these. So you can see I've already trimmed these down to my desired length I want for this. Let's go ahead and start reinforcing the rear of this. The way I like to do it is you see how these are short, these are the long ones. When I flip it over and do the back, the side ones are going to be the long ones, and these will be the shorter ones, it's just to, to balance it out and so it fits accordingly. 
So let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and get these hot glued in. Okay, now that we've got this put together, um, we still got some work to do on it, but for right now, we're just gonna, we're gonna set it aside and work on the table portion. Um, now the table portion, you are going to want to use that pink foam core. Um, I like to cut it in half. Normally that foam core is about that thick, about an inch. And then I cut it down the middle and sand it down, smooth it out. That'll be the table top. And this is already uh, predetermined on, you know, the length of your table. So you'll make that however large you want to. So I'm going to be making it this size. So we've got that. I've, again, pre-cut the dowel, but all of it's real easy. All you're going to do with the dowel is do the really long ones on each side like that. And then your little short ones should fit on the inside. Now we'll sand those down. So let's start off by applying these dowels on here. So we got that part of our tabletop done. Now we're gonna add some legs to this guy. I pre-cut these legs as well. Save time. Um, Uh, the length on these, um, I made them to work in the height of this because I like my figures to be at about waist high at the table so that way it looks cool when they're grabbing stuff. So this is a little bit over, it's like, there you go, I push all like three inches plus so three inches and one sixteenth which is one line over that's the, the height I have on these guys so I'll go ahead and uh, hot to glue these in anyways uh, this is about ten and a half inches long and I went ahead and marked off the half waypoint which is oops if it's ten and a half it's five and a quarter yeah, ten and a half so five and a quarter would be the center, which is right here. Erase that. So that's our midpoint. Then I'll grab one of our wide legs. I like to put the wide legs on the front so it looks like a nice hefty workbench. And as you can see, I have that marked off right here as well in the middle of the and because of the weight of the, the armory rack I put another little dowel piece at this end so let's do that too. Let's 
just grab a piece. It's on the market. Now let's go ahead and cut that and come back and put that on. Okay, so I went and I trimmed that piece down accordingly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hot glue it in. And it's probably gonna be best to apply the hot glue here and run it down the leg. Oh yeah, the table is looking nice and it is steady. Nice and steady table that will hold the weight of your armory. So let's move on to finishing up um, the rear or the our rack for the armory. And then we'll do paint and we'll be all done. All right, let's do that. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this guy back into the equation. And we've gotta add um, a, a back support piece. That's what I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna make this magnetize, which is really flippin' sweet. So I'm gonna show you how to do the mag magnetization part, how, how I personally add the magnets and get this thing working nice and sweet. So what we're gonna do is take the measurement when you have these lined up from the top of this part right here to the bottom of right here so we have get a piece of wood that's going to be the support so we measure that out and it's roughly about one in one and one eighth yeah about one and an eighth of an inch so we'll go ahead and grab that piece of balsa wood that I mentioned in the description and as you can see I've already oh you can't see it. let's see there you go I've already marked off the length and how much uh, the depth which is the, the one and one six no one and one eighth roughly um, it'll be different for each one depending on how you how you put it together yourself so let me go ahead and cut this. Right here at this point, you can just hot glue this in actually paint and then hot glue this in and call it a day but we're not gonna do that we're gonna make this magnetize okay so installing the magnets is not for the faint of heart um, at least not the way I do it so I got these little milli mini magnets uh, we got a store out here called Daiso that Daiso's got these really inexpensive so got my mini magnets and I've got my quarter inch drill bit this makes holes and my drill gun but what I'll do is I line it up kind of with the leg and That is, so I can do this. Got that kind of lined up in there. You know this guy will fit right here. Grab another magnet.
and let's do a little drop of uh, some paint. This is just to Just to mark off where I'm going to end up putting uh, this magnet, the magnets I need to mount on here. So come in, line it up how you like. Push it down, lift it up. And you've got your little dots of where you're gonna put your magnets at. So now we can clean that off, clean this off. And now we can drill into the, the depth that we need to go. So we're back, I had to recharge the battery again, but all I did in the meantime was I, um, I just use some crazy glue, there you go, crazy glue, um, to glue these guys onto the wood right here, onto the balsa wood, um, because I want these to have a really good adherence. And then I went ahead, and as you can see here, um, I marked the side that the magnet is gonna magnetize to orange, so that way, now I'm gonna use a hot glue gun and I'm going to put some hot glue in this, drop the magnets in and push them down with something that is not metal. I generally use like a pencil or what's really good too is um, paint brushes. So I'll probably go ahead and use a paintbrush to, to push that down. So let's go ahead and uh, drop some hot glue in there. What I also like to do is I like to put in one more magnet in the center in order to um, stabilize it up top. Okay, so I went ahead and drilled another hole in here to put the magnet in. Um, this one, again, like I said, it's to, to give more support on the table. So go ahead and take your hot glue gun. We're gonna come through here and give this tabletop the line that's gonna make it look like this is the steel part of the workbench. So as you can see, I just arbitrarily pick an area. Yeah, we're gonna move on to the, the paint portion. Let's go ahead and start by painting all the wood part of this. For this, I'm using um, raw sienna, or burnt sienna. Burnt sienna is the color. i using that as acrylic paint. So I'm just gonna load some in here. And go ahead and uh, mix up some water with that. I like the way this 
burnt sienna looks. Burnt, right? Make sure. Yeah. So I'm just adding some water in here because I really want it to absorb into the, it might be a little bit too much. I really want to absorb into the, the foam and the, the wood, the wood grain to give it this natural wood look. Okay, so while we're, while we're waiting for this to dry, let's go ahead and bring our armory rack and let's start painting this. I like to use this gunmetal gray. Okay, so for the hooks, uh, pretty easy. I use black paper clips. You can find these, I got these at Staples. Um, and the way you're gonna wanna cut these, just to give you an example, is this will be one of my first hooks for a larger weapon. So I clip it right there. One hook, come back, do the same thing right about there. It's two hooks, and then our last little hook, I'm just trim off a piece right here. Three hooks, so each paper clip will give you three different hook sizes, then you can come in with your pliers and uh, grab it right here, twist your hooks. how you make all your hooks. You can trim them down if you want them shorter. It just depends on the type of weapon that you're going to use to mount. So one will give you those three. Make a bunch of them. And uh, now let's go ahead and see our thing put together.